You can now add simple animations to PDFs from Adobe Acrobat using Adobe Express. Follow along in this tutorial and learn how to use the new Stylize This PDF tool in Acrobat, open the document in Adobe Express, and add animation presets to text and shapes. I'll also go over how to download the project as an MP4 for social media. So let's jump right in and start creating. In Acrobat, I have a PDF with six pages for a fictional cooking class event that will be promoted on social media. Here, I have three square posts and three that are landscape. I'd like to save this PDF as a cloud document and open it in Adobe Acrobat. You can do that directly in Acrobat now by going to All Tools and clicking on Stylize This PDF. That takes a few moments to save to the Adobe Cloud and it will automatically open in Adobe Express in a web browser. Let's have a look. The PDF has been converted and it's opened in Adobe Express. You can see I have all six of my pages here that I can make my way through and we're gonna be animating one of the pages. So you can choose the page that you want. For this example, I'm gonna go with page four. This is the landscape version of the social media post. I'm gonna close the stylized PDF shortcuts here. And first, I'd like to add animation to the main title. You can see that both cooking and classes are in the same text frame, and I'd like to separate them only because I want to add animation to each frame. So I'm going to double click classes or select it. Just highlight it just like that. Command or control X to cut, and then let's click away. Hold the option key on a Mac, that would be Alt on Windows and drag another copy and let's just replace the word cooking with classes and let's change that back to white just like so. And then you could just adjust the frame if it's too close, just bring it down. You can nudge it down with your down arrow key. So I'm happy with that and I have both of those words in different frames. So I'm gonna click on the word cooking first and if I scroll down in the text options, the last option here is to add animation. Now we're gonna be adding a preset to each one of these objects. For this, I'd like to set the preset animation to pop. And you can find this by scrolling to the bottom of the animation window under the scale category, go ahead and choose pop. And you can see a preview of that when I select it or hover over the preset. So once you select it, you'll see another option here to change some of the settings. So click that menu icon and we can set the duration. As a default, it's set to 0.4 seconds. I wanna change it to half a second, so 0.5. And then you can change the personality or how that animation is presented. You have three options here, soft, strong, or loud. So choose one that you like. I'm gonna stick with strong because I do like how that comes in. And then you can choose the intensity or set the intensity. And for this, it's going to default at 21. I'm just going to make it an even 20. And so I have something like that, which looks really, really good. Good, so I'm gonna click away and let's add that same animation to the word classes. So click on classes, scroll down in the text options click on animation, scroll down, and let's choose pop, and then click on the menu icon to change the settings. So we're gonna change this to 0.5, leave the personality on strong, and we'll just change the intensity to 20. And so those two animations are the same now. Good, so now that those have been set, we can move down and look at the shapes that I have here. So I have one shape in the bottom left-hand corner, and this smaller shape in the top right hand corner and we'll animate both of them. So I'm gonna click on the first shape in the bottom left hand corner and click on animate. And for this, I want it to drift in. Either slide or drift will work. For this example, I really do like the drift option because it has a nice smooth transition. So I'm gonna click on drift and then click on the menu options now the duration here is two and a half seconds. I'm gonna make it one second to really shorten it up. I just want the shape to come in a little bit quicker than the default setting. 
And then the personality here, you have more options. I'm going to choose smooth. I like the smooth transition when it fades in. And by the way, you do have the option to have this fade in or not fade in. I do like the option of having the fade in effect. And then you could choose the direction of how you want it to appear. So I want this to come in from the left. So I'm going to choose this right arrow for it to come in from the left into the right. You also have the option of having it start on the outside of the page or just having it fade in just like that. So I like how that looks. I'm gonna click away and I'm gonna apply the same settings to this small shape. Click animation. And again, you can experiment with any of these animation presets that may work better in your case. For this example, I'll choose drift again. And then click on the menu options. Let's change the duration to one second. Change the personality to smooth. We do want the fade. However, we want this to appear in the opposite direction. So from the right to the left, just switch the arrow direction there. And then we've set that one as well. As a last step, I'd like to add animation to the URL cookingwithclarissa.com. Scroll to the bottom, click on animation. And for this, I wanna choose typewriter. It comes in as a typing effect, which is really cool. There's also a fade, which fades in all the characters. Flicker, I do like the typewriter option, so I'm gonna click that. And then I'm going to click on the menu options. The duration here, I'm gonna set it to one and a half. So you can see that's a nice pace to go along with all the other animations in this project. You can also control the text segment. I currently have it set to character, but you can also choose by word or by line. Now it doesn't really work in this case because it's just one line. So I like the actual character animation here. So if you had multiple words, then maybe word would work. And so would the line as well. So now that I have all my settings for my animation, we can add the animation timing to this. If I make my way down to the menu icon in the page thumbnail, I have an option here to edit the timeline. Now if I click on cooking and then click on show layer timing, that will show me the layer timeline here. With cooking, I want it to start at the beginning of the sequence, so I'll leave the actual timing as is. But if I click the word classes and scrub through the timeline, I'd like the word to animate after cooking. So find the area which is half a second after cooking is done animating, we're going to drag the layer to the half second mark. So we have something like this. Cooking comes in followed by classes. Now after classes is done animating, I'd like the shapes to come in. I'll click on the first shape and I'm going to set the timing by dragging that layer to where the playhead is located. And do the same thing with the other shape. Click it so it aligns with the other shape timing. So now we have something like this. If I scroll down a little bit, you can see both shapes. We have cooking and then we have classes followed by both the shapes at the same time. As a last step, I want the URL, the website address to come in last. Now, if you're unable to click on the website, click the layers icon in the top right hand corner and scroll down to the URL so you can select it and then just drag that layer timeline to the playhead. So if I go back to my pages here and do command zero to fit in view, I'll press the play icon and you can see that all the animation is coming in with the timing as we set it up. Next, let me show you how to export the page with all the animation as an MP4. Click on the download button in the upper right hand corner and then choose selected page. From the file format, choose MP4 best for video, audio, and animations. Next, choose your video resolution. For this, I'm just gonna keep it at custom original size, and then click download. That will download the video to your computer, and then you can view it as an MP4. Let's have a look. 
I've gone ahead and downloaded the video, and if we preview it, you'll see that all the animation and the timing plays out just the way we set it up. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video on how to add simple animations to PDF documents with Adobe Express. If you found it helpful, leave a like and don't forget to hit the subscribe button for more tutorials just like this one. Until next time, take care and keep creating.